Namaste, Dan Gastu here. Today we're going to be heading back out to Surfside Motorcycle Garage to take our first look at the Royal Enfield Twins. Quite excited about checking these bikes out. Unfortunately, I've got to confess, they're not fully functional models. They're pretty much exactly as they will look from the outside, but we won't be able to ride them today, unfortunately. But we're still very keen to see them. So we'll just scoot around here onto the on-ramp for the freeway, then start heading back down to Brookvale. This is actually probably a good opportunity to answer a question I get quite a lot about the Himalayan, which is, what's it like at 110? And the answer I always give people is fine. Very comfortable. So this is 110 now, hopefully you can see from the speedo. No vibration, not straining, not full throttle. Sitting at about five and a half thousand RPM. You could cruise like this for a long time. Very comfortable. It's a nice day to head out to the beach as well, so while we're out there, I'll take a little ride up the coast and show you the area as well. All right, here we are again. So here we are, we've got the Intercept 650 and the GT Continental 650, let's take a look. We'll start with the Continental GT. So as far as I understand, between the two models, the chassis is identical. The only real differences are seat, tank and handlebars on both, and that the Interceptor also has a centre stand, which the GT doesn't. I'm not 100% sure what the stock exhaust is going to be, so we'll find that out in August when the bike's actually released in Australia. But at the moment it has these SNS exhausts. Certainly looks pretty sweet with the twin exhaust. The twin looks quite nice the way it fills the frame of the bike too. So oil cooled up here and spin on oil filter right at the front. So that's gonna be nice and easy to change. O2 sensors for the EFI. And wires coming down for the twin fuel injectors here. Little protective cover, which is nice. Taco is showing a red line of seven and a half. Interesting. About a thousand more than Himalayan. I think the twin cylinder head fits really nicely under the tank too. It looks really good. I've never been a big fan of these boxer motors where the cylinder heads stick out a mile. Got to say, I think I'm preferring the Interceptor. Nice having the long seat for pillion passengers. I also like the idea of having the centre stand on the Interceptor. This Interceptor's got the same SNS exhaust. Both bikes have got Pirelli Phantom tyres on it, which is interesting. Not sure if that's going to be just for Australia or worldwide. Looking down, you can just see the edges of the cylinder head each side. It looks nice. It seems really well proportioned for the bike. Apparently pretty straightforward for maintenance too, as well as having the spin on oil filter on the front. Got uh, just a standard 10 mil nut and screwdriver for adjusting your valve clearances. Oh, I really want to ride it. August apparently when they're coming out in Australia. Interesting, neither of these have mirrors on them, so it'll change the look slightly when they do come out, but not hugely, I guess. Apparently the Interceptor's also gonna have an option for a fully chrome tank, which should look really sweet. Here's a bit of a view of the separation of the exhaust as well.
nice clean dials 200 kilometers on the clock interesting to see what they're capable of I like the little infield emblem on the headstock well there you go a pair of twins they're stuck inside and we'll quickly talk to Westy about some of the options and when they're going to be here for real so they look really good <laughs> and when are they here um best guess probably july august july. and they reckon it takes about 90 days for adr compliance oh, so okay, once, yeah. once they finish they've got to get them over here and they'll crash and bash and burn and do what they yeah, have to do yeah. to get a, a, a plate on them get it so in we, australia we're saying to customers august you know august yeah, yeah right. um colors colors are going to be interesting we've got a list of them there's going to be the ones that you've seen there's a burnt orange one that we've seen. No, that sounds there's, nice. There's yeah. a, a weird name, Seed Nymph Blue. <laughs> um, but it looks like there's going to be a chrome. There's a silver. Yep. Um, there's black. Um, but it looks like going to be a chrome tank, and it, it appears to have a stripe down the middle. Okay. It's open nice. black, and whether it's got a pinstripe as well. Yep. But I think I'm going to put my hand up for one of those. A chrome I, tank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's got it my sounds hand. good. Uh, yeah. yeah. But no, they're uh, either fun. Well, very good. Well, thank you for the sneak peek. That, absolutely. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> well, goodbye, twins. Really nice to see them. Just following Westy down the road on this uh, EFI bullet now. The plan's to do a bit of restoration on this one, so you'll definitely see that coming up in a new video soon. On the left here, this side's pit water. It's off Broken Bay, and then on the right, we'll come up to the ocean again. to go to the beach. I think we'll get some food instead though. Well I hope you enjoyed our first glimpse of the Royal Enfield Twins. Looking forward to getting a chance to have a ride on one for the first time but looks like we're going to have to wait a few months for that. Take care and I'll catch you next video. See ya.